from Madame Normandin. Followed by Ms. Mor Normandin and then Mr. Julian. Thank you very much, Madam Chair, and uh, thank you to all of the witnesses for being here. I'm going to ask my first question to Ms. Denham. Uh, a rapid response mechanism, open data analysis, dated September 13th, 2021, entitled, so that would have been at during the 2021 election to provide some context, uh, entitled GE44, Chinese Communist Party social media accounts spreading negative narratives about the Conservative Party of Canada. Uh, this analysis, which uh, we've obtained through access to information that I will table before this committee when I have a translated uh, copy, uh, includes the following key findings. Quote, RRM Canada has observed what may be a Chinese Communist Party CCP information operation that aims to discourage Canadians of Chinese heritage from voting for the Conservative Party of Canada, end of quote. And further, uh, further finding, key finding, is, quote, the narrative has grown in considerable scale, end of quote. Uh, was this analysis shared with the CEIPP election panel? Uh, thank you, Chair, for that question. Is the microphone on? Okay, thank you. Um, thank you for the question and for that report, yes. Um, so in that report, uh, any of the reports that the RRM produced was shared uh, with the panel. Um, what I would like to just note in, in that report, it does say that it may be. Uh, again, what we do is we do open source analytics of the information environment. Thank you very much yeah. for that. Um, around the same time, there was... Uh, disinformation that was tracked on certain Chinese language social media platforms such as WeChat and Weibo and uh, some of that some of the themes uh, included disinformation about then member of parliament Kenny Chu's uh, private members bill uh, around uh, foreign agent registry, and it, it's noted in the Rosenberg uh, report. Um, in, in the face of the key finding, a uh, key finding in the analysis of September 13th, and given additional disinformation about conservative candidates that was being spread on social media platforms, at any point uh, did the task force provide any warnings on any of these Chinese language social media platforms that there was misinformation being spread around to warn the public. So thank you, Chair. So if I understand your question is whether or not any information was shared with the public? Any, any warning, any warning about misinformation or disinformation in the face of the fact that such disinformation had been monitored and identified by the site task force. Thank you. Thank you for that clarification. So as I said, in that report, what we were indicating, what we were noticing was that it could be, that we were, we were seeing amplification. That's what we look for, is artificial amplification of content in the social media landscape. So we were flagging uh, the reality that there was that amplification, but in that report we were not able to ascertain whether it was well, directed so, by a foreign and I, government. And I, I don't mean to cut you off, but my time is limited and my question was specific. Was any warning issued to alert the public about disinformation that had been identified? And I would note that, you know, when we talk about for example, WeChat, there are 600,000 WeChat users in the lower mainland. That's a, a lot of people on WeChat. So it gives uh, an idea of the magnitude to which this disinformation uh, was spreading around uh, throughout uh, the lower mainland uh, and uh, causing uh, voters to be uh, misled about Mr. Chu and about the Conservative Party. That's a big deal. So was any warning issued, yes or no? I, I, I take it the answer yeah. is no, but can you just confirm that? The I'm just going to pause real yeah. quick because I get to do this every so often, but I just did it in the last session. So I think, and I respect that it is your time, Mr. Cooper. We have asked our guests to come and we have to provide them some opportunity 
to provide some information as well. So, Ms. Stenham, the floor to you. Thank you for the question, Madam Chair. So the role of the RRM is to identify potential tactics or uh, campaigns to amplify information. As well as has been explained, any of that information, our role is also to brief the panel on that information. And the panel then takes consideration of not only information we are seeing, but the full spectrum of information that they're being provided. And it is the panel that then makes a decision. What I can say in this instance just is... To, just to clarify, is, are you saying that it would be up to the panel to make a decision such as issuing a warning? The panel, in terms of the protocol that is in place during the RIP period, it is the, it is the panel that makes the assertion if any public announcement is made. Again, in this Thank instance, you. what I can say is without an ability to identify it was a foreign entity, Thank you very it much. could have been made, amplification made, made from Canadian clear. content. And I want to Point ask... Point of order. Uh, well, okay. Waste time. Mr. Turnbull? Point of order, manage. Well... Uh, I mean, with all due respect to my colleagues here, we're trying to uh, give people the space and time to answer legitimate questions. And we're undertaking a really important discussion. As you've said, Madam Chair, I would really appreciate it if we could uh, give our witnesses the ample time to actually answer the questions instead of talking over them. With the, the hybrid capacity, it's also harder to hear what's happening um, for people who are watching. So I do think we should be mindful of that. Um, I am going to give the floor back to Mr. Cooper. You've got 10 seconds. Okay. Well, I guess my time has expired. Ms. Denham, did you want to just finish the point that you, you were just saying something? Um, just for the purposes of clarity, uh, because of the hybrid nature, as you said, the, the main message here is that, yes, we saw the amplification of content, but we were not able to ascertain if it was from a foreign entity or within domestic sources. And that is our role, is to actually flag what we're seeing uh, for an analysis. Mrs. Romanato, up to six 